guys. Have you ever wondered in Terraria how to dodge the Corellipede from the solar pillar? Are you having trouble? Well, I'll tell you how to do it. My name is Verdic, and I'm gonna teach you the best ways to dodge the Corellipede on the solar pillar. Let's head right into it. So the first thing you have to do to actually do this is actually go, obviously go ahead and kill the Lunatic Cultist. Not hard of a boss fight if you if you're grinding the Moon Lord, but you have troubles on the Solar Pillar. Um, let's say you don't want to do it, or you're doing the friend, and you don't want to do Solar Pillar, but you need the fragments. Well, I'm your person to tell you how to actually dodge the Crawlipede. Like. It's really easy for me to dodge it now. I don't care if I get solar. It's just easy now. It's really easy. Just because I could dodge the Krolipede. So I'm going to teach you guys how to dodge the Krolipede. So like I said, you're going to have to go ahead and kill the cultist by going to the dungeon. And killing all four of the people. And then he'll spawn. So that's a killer here. Okay. And we spawn right on solar. Perfect. Okay. So we're right here on solar, and I'm gonna show you how to dodge the Crawlipede. All right, so you see, all right, so the Crawlipede is a, obviously a worm insect, and what you're gonna have to do is, you actually have to go and try to get up behind it, and the ball in the back, you're gonna wanna try to shoot that as much as you can. Um, lock on weapons like the Nebula Blaze, um, the Stardust Dragon Staff even does good on it. You're gonna have to maneuver yourself, like you're trying to drop down and stuff. You're trying to maneuver yourself to get up behind it. It's like dog fighting. You have to get up behind it to so shoot the bull. That's the only way you can kill it. You can kill it in no other way. The only way to do, to do the slow pillar without like barely dying is have to go in and lure some enemies out without getting the crowdpede in there. So you see me, I'm doing really well now because I, I can dodge the Corellipede and another massive help is my Stardust Dragon Staff. Now sometimes at first if you don't attack it, it, like, it doesn't attack you for the first three seconds. So that's your chance to get up behind it and just go ahead and shoot it. If you don't do that, then he's still going to come after you. So, so you see he's doing here? Alright. Perfect. So it's much easier now. So the Nebula Blaze does perfect against these guys. It's so much easier to do it. So you see me here, I'm blasting, I'm blasting away at the solar pillar now. I'm just absolutely shredding everything just because this Krolopede. The Krolopede has about, like, minimum about three second cooldown before you can spawn. But sometimes it's a very long cooldown. Sometimes it's even 20 seconds. So that's your chance to try to kill as much people as you can. I say the two best weapons that work against the boss, or not the boss, the Crawlipede are lock-on weapons such as the Nebula Blaze, the Arcanium, or very high-powered weapons such as the Last Prism, the Meow Mirror, even the Star Wrath works really well against it. So you see me here, now I am, now the shields are down and we're going to go ahead and kill the killer. There we go. Defeated the solar pillar in under about, I say, three minutes. Well, there's your guide. That is how you.